Now the story that I am about to tell you is over 2,000 years old. This story might not have happened exactly this way. In fact, it may not be factual or historical at all. But nevertheless, it is a story that is true. That is to say, it offers us timeless truths about the way life on earth is and the way we believe God dreams it could be if we only remembered who we are and why we are here. The Christmas story is true in that it reminds us that like Mary and Joseph, life can be a long and perilous journey. And it is also true that the governments of the world love to heavily tax its poorest citizens to enable the rich to thrive. The Christmas story is also true in that like the shepherds, if we are listening, angelic messengers of heaven often show up to tell us not to be afraid and to offer good news of great joy to those who are desperately listening and looking through the eyes of wonder. The Christmas story is also true because it reminds us that from the most ordinary people in unexpected places, God's light and courage can illuminate the darkest places and times. The Christmas story is also true in that if you are wise, like the travelers from the East, you will be willing to search far and wide for the light of truth. That is what it means to become enlightened. This story is also true because it reminds us that there will always be Herods, bullies in the world who want to destroy what is good and noble. But we must always be discerners of deception and find another way to share our gifts of love. The Christmas story is true because the child they called the Christ was an anointed one of God who grew up to be the most loving, compassionate person the world has ever known. He was so full of love and compassion for everyone that those who met him felt like they had encountered the God of heaven. He was special and his teachings are worth listening to and living out. So once again, let us recall this ancient story that touches our hearts and minds with so much truth and mystery. Once upon a time, a young woman named Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph from the family of David. They were required by the government to return to Joseph's Bethlehem because everyone during that time was required to return to the place they had been born in order that they might be taxed. Mary and Joseph here. The Romans want to tax us some more, so we got to head back to where my great, 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 doesn't matter. A lot of generations ago, my ancestors came from Bethlehem, and as you can see, she's very pregnant, and we got to get there in about 100 clicks in less than a week. I'm not moving very fast these days, as you can see. I think it's gonna take a little longer than that, Joseph. Plus, I heard there's dangerous robbers hiding in the hills. Off we go. After a long journey, Mary and Joseph finally arrived in Bethlehem, but they could not find a place to stay. Can we stay here? Are you vaccinated? Sorry, no room. stay here? Are you vaccinated? What does that even mean? Too bad, so sad. Can we stay here? Where are your masks? 
My wife is super pregnant. Can't stay inside, but you can stay outside in the carport. That's a good plan. I'm sure my wife will be really happy. And when it came time for Mary to give birth to her firstborn son, she wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, a feeding trough for animals, because there was no room for them. Now on that same night, outside the hills of Bethlehem, there were shepherds watching over their flock of sheep. And suddenly the sky was filled with angels who spoke to the shepherds. Don't be afraid. We bring great news of great joy. For tonight, in the city of Parksville, a child has been born. He will be your savior, the one who has come to have all people in these terrible times. And let this be a sign. You will find a baby wrapped in clothing lying in the manger. And the night sky was filled with angelic hosts, praising God and singing glory to God in the highest, on earth peace and goodwill toward all people. And when the shepherds heard the good news of the angels, they said to one another, Let us run to Bethlehem to see this child that has been born. He will be a good shepherd for our people. In the meanwhile, in another place, far, far away, wise people who studied the stars had seen a brilliant star in the sky, which meant that someone very special, a great leader, was going to be born. So they had decided to follow this star to see this new king. On their travels, they encountered a cruel and deceptive king who pretended he wanted to honor the new child that had been born but he really just wanted to know where the child was so he could destroy him. But the wise were too wise. They could tell that the cruel king was lying, so they pretended to agree to let Herod know where the child could be found, but had no intention of telling that old bully where he could find the child. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Where? Where are you going? Are you going to see... Okay, so when you see him, you come back and you tell me. All three of you. All three of you. You come back and you see me. And when the wise people arrived at the house where the child was, they knelt before him and offered the Christ child all the things he would need for his life on earth. We bought the baby gold fit for a king. And incense to burn in the holy temple as a sign of his prayers to God. And mirth to anoint. But it's been a dangerous journey with floods mudslides, sinkholes, and a deadly virus that has spread throughout the world. But we have brought other things for his journey as well. He will need this! And Mary wondered what all these things meant. And she was amazed by what everyone had said about her newborn child. And Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And on that night, Mary sang lullaby to her child as she rocked him. The angels returned to the heavens to continue to watch over us on earth 
and send messages of peace and goodwill to anyone who will listen to their songs. And the shepherds return to their sheep in the fields. The wise return to their home a different way to avoid the cruel King Herod. And Mary and Joseph and the child Jesus escaped as refugees to Egypt because Joseph had been warned in a dream that it was not safe for them to return to Galilee because of Herod and the political situation and violent unrest in their own country. Everyone returned home glorifying God because they had all been changed by the birth of this beautiful child of Christmas who came down from heaven to teach us how to love one another as deeply as God loves each one of us. And we remember what truths this story holds for us, that though life on earth can be a difficult journey, there is still much beauty, wonder, truth, meaning and joy to be discovered. So may we ponder what Mary pondered and remember that every time a child is born, the angels sing and rejoice in heaven because great love has come down from heaven to help us on the earth. May we too remember this Christmas that like the child of Bethlehem, we also are sons and daughters of God come from heaven to bless this world with our love and our light. May it be so.